Okay, we are going to start now. Uh, thank you very much all for, for joining today. We are very, very happy to have you here. I'm Juan Moran, I'm growth marketer here at WinClub. And we have here Ryan and, and Leandro. Here we, today, will be doing the webinar on how to succeed on TikTok for business and learn how for, for brands to, to learn how to, to work on this wonderful platform for the user acquisition campaigns. From the TikTok side, we have Ryan Burns. Ryan is the partner manager for TikTok for Business. And from WinClub side, we have Leo Santos. Leo is senior growth manager here at WinClub. And they will be explaining us along this webinar. So I will leave you to the experts now. Thank you. Thank you, uh, thank you very much, Juan. And, um, Thank you, uh, first of all, to uh, the WinClub team for having me here to uh, talk a little bit about TikTok today and um, for being such a great partner uh, over these past few months. Um, uh, it's uh, it, it's great to be here, and I'm excited to uh, to chat a little bit more um, about TikTok and the opportunity for advertisers on our platform. Um, but first, I, I do want to start with a bit of a background on TikTok and um how our platform works and really what makes us unique. Um, you know, first of all, we're, we're very thankful for the community that's joined TikTok in these past few months and um, made it the fastest growing app and social platform in the world. Um, and, you know, we're, we're really a community that values joyful, positive experiences. And we encourage people to be their authentic, true selves um, on the platform. And it's very exciting to see the growth that's followed that and the communities that have been created. Um, when I think about TikTok as well, one of the words that comes to mind for me most often is this aspect of discoverability. Um, there's really a, a unique um, aspect of, of TikTok in that any person uh, can be discovered. Um, you know, whether you have one follower, um, 100 followers, or even a million followers, um, if you're producing content that resonates with the audience on the platform um, and that um, is, uh, you know, really just um, high value and, and authentic. Um, your, your content can be discovered by anybody. So we've seen creators big and small flock to the platform. Um, we boast over 500 million uh, monthly active users across the globe. And um, it's amazing to see uh, how people have used the platform and really the For You page, which is the central experience on TikTok um, to uh, you know really um, flex their creative muscles. You can go to the next slide. Um, and over these past few months as well, we've really um, introduced TikTok for business to the world and are starting to open up our platform to advertising opportunities for marketers that want to um, reach this massive and, and highly engaged audience. Um, so Leo and I will talk uh, a little bit more in, in detail about uh, how exactly advertisers can lean in um, to our platform and what some of the best strategies that um, the WinCloud team has experienced um, and, and experimented with and um, what we recommend here at TikTok. But um, we're very excited to continue expanding um, this TikTok for business platform and um, open it up to, uh, to advertisers and um, offer a, a broad range of solutions that can be used. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ryan, for joining us today and for the introduction. Um, thank you, Juan, as well, to introduce me. Um, just a quick overview about Wing Club. At Wing Club, we help um, mobile games and, and, and app advertisers on their user acquisition, retention, and reactivation strategies across multiple channels. Uh, with our proprietary AI technology, we give like um, recommendation about budget allocation. And with our performance experts and creative experts, we uh, work as an extension of your team, like executing, analyzing, optimizing uh, your campaigns and building the creatives uh, for, for each of the, of the channels. Um, we have been announced as, as one of the TikTok marketing partners. So today we're going to focus on that. And as, uh, as Ryan mentioned, TikTok as one of the fastest growing platform in, in the world this year, um, it's also, it also become a, a, a new powerful marketing channel and, and it has like different ways to, to help brands to communicate their, their products, their services, their messages to the TikTok audience. They, they have mainly two solutions um, that Brian and, and I will cover uh, in more detail later, but just 
as a quick overview, we got a more focus on branding, which is the reservation campaigns. And, and also we got an auction platform where, where you can optimize towards the CPI, CPA return of the, of the campaigns with a really specific targeting, demographics, age range, and, and, and so on. So now, um, Ryan, if you want to give a, a, a little bit more details about what are the solutions that TikTok have with, within these two, two type of campaigns, yeah, absolutely. And and that's exactly right, Leo. We've um, really um, created a, an advertising platform that can meet the needs of advertisers of all shapes and sizes um, and can meet the needs of different goals that advertisers may have, whether those are, um, as you mentioned, branding goals or more performance oriented objectives. Um, so first I'll introduce all of our different ad products and talk about each um, as they sort of fit into this branding versus performance narrative. Um, so these five products that you see here on the screen uh, represent all of our current ad offerings on the platform. Um, the first two I'll start with um, are brand takeover and in-feed video. And these are part of our reservation package of uh, ad opportunities. So um, the uh, model here is, you know, the um, advertiser will work with um, the TikTok sales team directly or a marketing partner uh, like WinClap and really get that white glove level of service to make sure that these campaigns are um, well prepared, thought out and executed. Um, and um, the, the model in terms of buying is typically cost per time. So the advertiser really enjoys 100% uh, share of voice in market um, for a 24 hour period with each of the brand takeover and in-feed video assets. These are both gonna be the first pers uh, the first thing that a, a user will see when they open up the TikTok app. Um, so it's a great opportunity to uh, have a, a strong impact with the advertiser or with the user um, as they're first opening the app. The key differences between brand takeover um, and the top view. Um, brand takeover um, can be a static three second image or a quick three to five second video that's sound off. This is actually our only product uh, that is um, enabled for sound off placements. All of our other products do require sound, which is a very important part of the TikTok platform um, to be uh, part of the uh, experience. Um, the top view is a bit different uh, in that um, this uh, video can be anywhere from uh, five to 60 seconds. Um, we recommend a sweet spot of around 15 seconds for the top view. Uh, and it starts looking similar to a brand takeover. But after the first few seconds, the engagement buttons on the right hand side and the call to action on the bottom appear. And it really turns into a unit that feels like a native organic placement on TikTok. Um, again, it's a great opportunity for brands to reach 100% of TikTok users for a 24 hour period uh, in the uh, location of their choice. Um, so we've seen a lot of great success with these two placements in really uh, helping clients reach branding and awareness goals um, often associated with uh, you know, positive brand association, uh, brand lift, et cetera. Um, our other two reservation products that I'll talk about here quickly are the hashtag challenge and branded effect. Um, hashtag challenge is a very unique uh, and um, interesting opportunity for advertisers to really sort of co-create with the TikTok community. The way a branded hashtag challenge will work is, um, you know, we really uh, encourage brands to lean in with our creators on the platform um, and drive mass awareness and engagement by creating sort of a viral moment. So in that example um, on, on the screen, Chipotle worked with six creators to start basically what they called the Chipotle lid flip challenge. Um, and it's a, a basically an invitation for the community to um, work with, uh, to work with um, brands and uh, post content on their own that um, fits into this overarching theme or narrative. Oftentimes these hashtag challenges are paired with a branded effect, as you see on the right, which um, are AR, 3D or, or 2D special effects that advertisers can use um, as a standalone offering or as part of a hashtag challenge, which is the usual case. Last, but certainly not least, I wanna talk about in-feed video. 
which is really our performance oriented uh, advertising offering. Um, this is where many of our mobile app install or more just performance focused advertisers are finding success in the platform. The in-feed video product um, functions just like it sounds like uh, as a user is scrolling through their for you page, every so often they'll be served ads um, and uh, these ads um, are directly embedded within the user's feed and look and feel a lot like native TikToks. Um, there's a wide range uh, of targeting and, and optimization um, options available um, from CPI, CPM bidding to um, you know, different targeting options such as age, gender, location, and more. Um, I know the WinClap team has tons of experience with in-feed video and we'll be sharing some best practices afterwards. Um, and we can absolutely follow up with video examples of all these different ad units. I know these are just static images and video is really crucial to the TikTok experience, but that's a brief overview of the different formats that we currently offer. Exactly, thank you. And, and as you may see here, like all of them, if you're familiar with TikTok, that for sure you are, uh, these all uh, options looks really native and, and it looks like completely native and, and user generated content by the platform. And if we take a look of how the user flow um, would be a typical user flow would be in, in within the app with the different um, ads that, and, and solutions that TikTok have. So we have one solution when you just open the app, which are the top view and the brain take cover. Then you have in feed video ads that you can reserve or uh, buy through the auction platform that will step uh, between also the user generated content. Uh, the, ch the hashtag challenge and the branded effect are going to are going to be available when you create content or when you are in the explore tab. So, I guess TikTok challenge all of us, all all of us in the marketing industry and all the marketers out there to think differently about their ads. Like it's a completely brand new way to advertise. Here we need to think as as TikTokers, we believe and. Um, this is crucial. It's crucial to, to adopt this kind of mindset and to work together with uh, a marketing partner or, or tech talk um, directly to succeed on, on this platform. And, and today we want to bring some tips, best practices and talk about more this TikTok mindset that, that we encourage you to, to adopt. Uh, right, Ryan? Yeah, um, thanks, Leo. And you make some great points. I think um, really TikTok is a unique platform. Uh, the way we think about short form video and the way we think about content on our platform is just different than I think most social media. So in turn, um, we've asked advertisers and marketing partners to um, think about advertising differently. And we've been amazed by um, how the community has responded and some of the creative and engaging ways our advertisers have come up with to really resonate with their audience. Um, you can go to the next slide. And when, when talking about adopting this TikTok mindset, I think a few things for me personally come to mind. Um, first and foremost, I think when you are scrolling through your For You page, um, the content that you tend to see is, is really organic. Um, it's really authentic. Um, people feel free on TikTok to really be themselves. And I think um, because our community is very inclusive, open, et cetera, um, the content that's created is, is really reflective of that mindset and mentality. Um, and brands, uh, we really encourage them to embrace this authenticity on the platform um, and be part of the inclusive community that really values these positive and, and joyful experiences. So what we mean when, when we ask brands to be authentic, um, instead of thinking about your Instagram ads, which may look very studio produced or be very, be very like product focused or product driven, um, we really encourage uh, advertisers to create ads that look like something they could see on their For You page, that look like something they could see as they're just scrolling through organic content. Um, and some of the examples I think I was gonna show early, uh, later are, are really um, uh, reflective of this mentality. Um, we also, Ask that brands have fun, um, you know, don't take themselves too seriously on the platform. Um, it's really not too serious of a place, TikTok. I think it's something um, that people come to to escape, uh, to uh, have a laugh or two. Um, and brands that have adopted this mentality of not being overly serious have really found a niche and a home on the platform. Yeah, yeah, like we always say, like, 
if for, for, for ads and, and TikTok, we always talk about like user generated content and we are going to give more examples about that, but uh, we don't need a, a, a huge studio and really like um, precise and not with a lot of animation or whatever. We need to be real here and, and try to encourage people to keep watching our videos and, and, and listen what we have to say to we have what we have to say to them. Um, also about the sound, this is really important, I guess. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Don't I don't want to um, underestimate or um, understate the value that sound has in the TikTok experience, and this also uh, translates to uh, advertisers as well. So, we're, we're um, TikTok is a, is a bit different than most apps, um, and our app itself launches full screen vertical video with with sound on by default. In my opinion, it's one of the reasons TikTok is so engaging and some of the metrics we see about how often our users um, come back to the platform on a daily basis are, are so amazing. But um, sound is a huge part of every TikTok that gets created. Um, for those of you that don't know about the history of our company, we actually started um, as an app called Musical.ly, um, which was a lot of voiceovers, dancing, and it's really just a part of our history. Um, and advertisers that succeed on the platform really make sound a key part of their strategy. Um, I know Instagram um, often uh, recommends optimizing for sound off. We're, we're the exact opposite. Um, advertisers have found a ton of success leaning into trends by using original sounds on the platform that our users have created or um, that our users have uploaded. And they can kind of attach themselves to these viral moments um, to really uh, make a greater impact. So um, this mobile first creativity with sound on, it's not just part of our platform, it's part of how we educate advertisers and how advertisers are really um, finding success is using sound as a part of their strategy um, to make their TikTok ads feel more native and engaging. Yeah, like internally in our studio, we call it like Think Musical.ly as your, as your previous name as you mentioned so this is key as brian mentioned in other platforms uh, all the ads are, and all the videos are shown uh without sound for the by default in tiktok is the opposite way so maybe in the other platform you need to i don't know focus on the text and on the images to communicate because the sound is not something that you can lean on most of us have our sounds in silent mode but in tiktok it's completely different and and this uh playing between the, the sound and matching it with the ad and the beats of the sound with what is going on in the in the video has proven really good results within all our advertisers. So based on this mindset, we want to share with you today, how should brands approach TikTok? And, and, and based on this, share with you tips and best practices and results studies that, that we have done with our advertisers, with our clients and together with TikTok team and then after, for, of course, we got the, the Q&A. But our first tip today is, as Brian mentioned, lean on trends. So uh, we need to, when, when we advertise within TikTok, we need to, to connect with the audience to trends, hashtags, um, effects. Like we need to really understand what is going on and what's people onto in the platform within a week, within two weeks. This is this has this require a really fast and, and, and quick job on that. But we need to deep dive into the platform and adapt our messages, like take an advantage of this uh, trends and that we can see on the platform. If we can adapt those dances, lip syncs, music, uh, effects, brand, uh, I don't know, like all these kind of things that the platform offers, we can adapt those to our brand messages for sure we can have an advantage over our competitors or, or we can see an outperforming ads. So we can share afterwards like some results, but we have seen like in, um, uplift with and without using trends, like from, with more than 500% of, of, of uplift from one ad to the other one. So this is something really, really important that we want to, the, to give you, to take you home and to take it to your companies when advertising on TikTok. I don't know if you want to add something here, Ryan. Uh, no, I think I, I think you're exactly right. I think um, leaning on uh, trends and and really like the best way to um, 
you know, uh, create a good advertising strategy and um, understand what might work from an advertising perspective on TikTok is to stay up to date, you know, browse, browse the TikTok app for um, 10 minutes a day to get a flavor of what people are creating, what's trending. Uh, we have a discover page in our app when you can see where you can see top hashtags, things like that. Um, so I really recommend that if you think about incorporating TikTok as part of your strategy, uh, get a flavor for how the platform works and get a flavor for what's popular in the moment. So um, wherever possible, you can try to attach your brand to these to these moments, these hashtags, these sounds, um, and really um, you know see the positive effects of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like being up to date, create content as fast as you can, update your campaigns. And this for sure also, I think it's really important to mention it, it go beyond the campaign dates. I mean, maybe you create a campaign for a period, but if, if you create a viral moment or if you're at it's viral as another TikTok, for sure it's gonna last uh, most than only the campaign dates. So the second team that, that today is, is, we have been talking a bit, a bit about this, but it's user generated content dominates. So, as Brian mentioned, in TikTok, there's no zone for judgment and, and brands like for all the audience and brands need to behave in the same way as the users uh, behave with the TikTok. And you need, you, be, you need to be the most human version of your brand. Like, again, they don't want like really sailing oriented ad. They want to see more TikToks. They want to see more people dancing, more people enjoying. And if you can also communicate your brand message with a video that looks exactly as a, as a TikToker video or as a user generated content, um, for sure is gonna have like much more better engagement than, than a normal or skippable ad, you know. For sure you have a call to action button as you, as you can see here in the, in the example, you will have a call to action. It's, it looks really native and it's really clean here in the platform. Like it's not in, it's really big or it's not annoying. But the rest of the bottoms are just as the as a normal TikTok, as an organic uh, video of TikTok. So we need to also focus on this, like the creatives that you need to use to advertise in TikTok need to look as native as possible. I don't know, Ryan, if you agree with you, me, uh, I guess. You, you nailed it. <laughs> um, I completely agree. <laughs> I think you. it goes back to, uh, yeah, being authentic and, um, the UGC feel, um, you know, we, we've run uh, tests internally. Like this isn't just something we recommend. The data backs it up. If you have UGC sort of oriented creatives, it's likely you'll perform better. Exactly, yeah. Well, and then we got, um, here we got a, again the, the example of Chipotle, but we believe it's a great success case within the TikTok uh, platform and the hashtag challenge. And, and this ability to co-create with the community, it's something amazing for marketers. Like TikTok is all about creation. We all become creators when we dive, deep dive into the TikTok platform. We all dance, we all do lip syncs. And if brands can also create positive experience and inspire people in, within TikTok and inspire the users to also participate of, of the, uh, on that, for sure you will create um, an amazing marketing campaign that, that again, will go beyond, much more beyond of, um, of the campaign dates. For example, the, the hashtag challenge, it lasts like uh, it, when you do a reservation campaign could last between three and six days, depending on the geo. But then if you are able, if, if it's properly implemented, if you select the proper videos for, to set the tone and, and you encourage people to create within your, in this case, your hashtag challenge, go let it, it's gonna last much more beyond than the campaign dates. So also brands need to create content thinking on the audience that they are uh, aiming to target and inspiring them to participate on that. And well, another one, another tip. So engaging creativity for fun. So authenticity, it's key in TikTok. People want to see authentic content. So we always, and, and again, there's no judgment for, for, there's no zone for judgment here. So we encourage to design, experiment and test like different things uh, within the platform 
deep dive using using it and and try to understand what the audience is looking for if you if you can adapt those messages those music those dance, dancing to your brand even though maybe it's completely disruptive to the ads that you were doing in the past you know because maybe you have never done uh, dance or do a, 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 a lip sync to promote i don't know a, a pixel brand or or a game uh, or a rpg game but in this case it works completely different the audience is different so we encourage you to design and test as much as you can we got plenty more of tabs we got more content in our blog and and also tiktok but the bottom line here always if you want to succeed on tiktok so what we always say is don't make ads don't make like the normal skippable ads that we are used to in all the platform we need to think as tiktoker we need to make tiktoks to advertise our companies to advertise our games our apps our brands ryan in this case yeah no add. um i i completely agree we've really kind of embraced this um this call to advertisers and it's sort of become the tagline uh of the tiktok for business strategy um uh, and we've just been amazed by how advertisers have um, embrace this, uh, this advice and, um, some of the content that, um, uh, partners like WinClap and, and Leo have, um, have produced to really, um, embody this mentality and spirit. So, um, I think, uh, Leo, you sound, you sound like an expert. Um, you obviously have a lot of practice and, and know what you're talking about. Um, but it's, it's really what we want to kind of, um, you know, leave everybody with at the end of the day is when you're thinking about, um, advertising on TikTok, when you're thinking about starting, um, don't be, don't be discouraged. Don't think it's, it's, um, you know, too high of a bar, um, experiment, try things out. Um, but you know, importantly, be authentic, make TikToks, embrace the mentality of our community. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brian. So now we got um, live Q and A. Um, so all of you can drop your question. I'm seeing here a lot. I don't know, Juan, if you're going to read it or you want me to read it. Yeah, I, 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 here I have one. I think it's the question of the moment. It says, mm -hmm. can we run TikTok ads in Mexico? Up until recently, they were not available in our country. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't yet speak to specific dates as when as to when we'll be um, opening up additional uh, countries for advertising. Um, our hope is very soon we can offer uh, the opportunity to advertise um, in countries like Mexico and and even a longer list. Um, we'll definitely work with the WinClap team to keep them uh, as up to date as possible, um, so they can share this information. Um, and I see the same question for, uh, for Brazil, um, same thing. Um, we actually very recently opened up, uh, on Monday, um, reservation ads for Brazil, um, auction, uh, like I said, not sure the exact date, um, but we'll work with the WinClap team to make sure they can, um, share this availability as we have it. And, um, yeah, hopefully, um, you know, we can start, um, opening up these, uh, these other countries for everybody soon. We are all waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. For sure. Yeah. Okay, we have another one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, is, TikTok, is TikTok only good for targeting young audiences? Yeah, a great, great question. I think um, a lot of times people just think of uh, TikTok as a place to reach only young people. Um, young people definitely are a large part of the TikTok audience. I think we've really resonated with um, younger audiences around the globe, but uh, over the past six to 12 months specifically, um, we've seen the age range of our audience diversify a lot. So we're becoming more and more popular with, um, you know, ages like 24 and up, even 35 plus um, is becoming more and more active on our platform. Um, I think uh, as a result of um, the COVID-19 crisis, more and more people um, are, you know, inside every day um, looking for things to do. And TikTok has kind of entered the mainstream uh, of culture during this time. So we've seen um, more and more uh, people outside of sort of like the Gen Z that's typically associated with the TikTok audience joining up. Um, we don't have specific figures we can share publicly, but 
for sure seeing um, uh, a much uh, larger segment of like older 35 plus users joining than we have previously. Yeah, just just to add there from from our experience with client, it, it's true. It's true. Like people believe that it's only for Gen Z, like for people like from th and, and and the main age range is I don't know if they're thirteen to eighteen or something like. That. But as as Ryan mentioned, that age range is diversifying a lot. We see a lot of people joining from twenty five plus, um, and and I think it's much more diverse that that the age range is than other platforms that, that could be similar. But yeah, definitely. And maybe it's during, uh, because of COVID and maybe it's because of, again, what we mentioned before, there's no judgment zone here and people is authentic within the platform. We have seen a lot of people joining in and not only like gently uh, a generation, it's also like from all the age range. Another question here it says, I'm in the B2B business. How do you recommend using TikTok for a more professional environment? Yeah, absolutely. I think um, it's, uh, it's often associated with um, more direct to consumer advertising, but we have seen B2B advertisers find success on the platform. I think um, one thing to embody is maybe even if you are more of a B2B brand um, or want to reach a more professional audience, still not taking yourself overly seriously. Um, and there's so much content, uh, especially right now on TikTok about the struggles of working from home, um, how people are adapting to uh, this new life of, you know, perhaps not being in the office, surrounded by coworkers each and every day. And there's a ton of opportunity to jump on some of those trends and figure out what creators are talking about and what the community is really talking about when it comes to this new normal that we're all slowly getting used to. Um, I think there's lots of opportunities to um, share a story that's compelling uh, about um, a more uh, kind of um, professional related product that um, typically I don't think people would associate with uh, strong performance on the platform. Yeah, also like it's something interesting like people or companies can be like okay well tiktok is only for fun and you can only dance for to share with your friend but if you did dive into the platform you can see that there's a lot of content about learning on tiktok financial mm -hmm. tips um mm -hmm. how to take better photos and there's a lot of things that are not just for fun are also like really professional and it's become like a short way of learning like created content for learning from communicating and if I don't know what's the, the business of this company that is asking, because I'm not seeing the questions, I don't know. <laughs> but um, but there's for sure could there they could find a way to communicate in a professional way um, their their solution in the platform. Yeah, well said. Do we have more, Juan? Yes, we have more. Here it says, does your business have to have an updated organic feed to advertise or can you advertise with a simple CTA driving people to your website and not your TikTok profile? Um, yeah. Yeah, you wanna take it like, go ahead. Yeah, I can take it. So um, there's no need to have like an organic account to advertise uh, within the platform. And I mean, you can, and the and the bottom to to go the account will redirect to your account if you remember how the ad looks like the call to action will redirect to the land, the landing page of of your brand and the and the on the bottom to to your profile if you don't have a profile though that bottom to go to the profile will become another call to action um if you ask us we have not seen really like we have tested both when you have an organic account, maybe you got more engagement there later in a later stage with your brand, but, uh, but in a performance, um, from, from a performance view, we got, we have seen better performance without, I don't know, Ryan, what do you have to say here? 
Yeah, definitely. There's no um, requirement to uh, have any organic activity uh, on the platform to advertise. And we support what we call both internal and external landing pages. So external is just a, a standard mobile site or, um, you know, link to the app store, or Google Play store to download an app. Um, but if, if you want, you know, we offer the ability for brands to just redirect to like a profile or um, something internal to TikTok, but most of our advertisers are going to use just like what I said, like traditional landing pages or app install campaigns. Amazing. Great. So we have a couple of more questions here. Uh, here it says, do you have any data to share regarding engagement and conversion of TikTok ads for the category beauty? Yeah, I've, I've no um, specific numbers to share right off the top of my head, um, but beauty is certainly uh, a huge category on TikTok. Um, I think just thinking about it organically, there's tons of videos about skincare tips, um, you know, other kind of beauty um, uh, best practices, um, things like that. And advertisers are, are finding a lot of success in the vertical as well. Um, I can certainly take a look at our case study library and maybe share with the Wing Cloud team after to see if we have any we can um, send through, but it's it's a, a very successful vertical right now. Um, I don't have any data off the top of my head, but um, we can hopefully share some things afterwards. Another one. Um, would you share some benchmarking metrics from campaigns abroad? Yeah, so it's kind of same answer here. Um, I think maybe the, the Wayne Clap team might have some some benchmarks of of their campaign's performance so far if they if they can share, but um, I don't have any specific uh, ranges right now to share, but um, we can work to include this as follow-up if it's important. Yeah. Like, yeah, we can follow okay, up next definitely. Point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think this is a hot question. What is the cost to TikTok advertising? What are the pricing models? So it, it does depend um, on the format that you want to use. Our, our reservation products, like I was mentioning earlier, are um, bought via insertion order um, and like a cost per time model. Um, so like you're usually paying for, you know, um, that 100% share of voice for a 24 hour period or with the hashtag challenge three to six days. Um, but the auction in feed video ads are going to give you a lot more flexibility in terms of the pricing model that you want to use. Um, we offer uh, CPC, CPM, um, optimized uh, CPM as well to optimize um, your campaign towards conversions. Um, so there's there's a few different choices you have. Um, and the beauty of the, the auction platform as well is, you know, there's no commitment required. Um, you can test at a small rate to see how it works for you. Um, and, and go from there. Um, so the, the, the models differ a little bit depending on what type of um, advertisement you want to use, but with auction, there's a lot of flexibility offered. Another question. Have you seen many charities advertise on TikTok yet? Yeah, th th this is a great question. Um, I haven't... Uh, personally seen any charities advertising on TikTok, but um, I think just what I know about our community, um, I, I think they'd be very well received. And um, I think there's definitely room for charities and, and these type of advertisers, nonprofits, et cetera, to, to find success. So I'll see if there's anything that we have, um, but not off the top of my head, but it's a very interesting question. Well, in my case, I've seen uh, a lot in, in For You page, and, I, I, and as Brian mentioned, I, I believe it's really well received by the, by the audience. Like, since TikTok has this ability, like every video has the, the possibility of go viral, regardless of the time of posting and cadence, I guess these videos will have really good engagement if are properly uh, communicated. So I guess there's a, there's a room for for, for advertising or for being in the platform there. I think we have room for some more questions. Um, yeah. The next one is, how do you work with influencers in TikTok? What are the main difference with other videos? For example, Instagram. Um, yeah, definitely. I think um, advertisers that work with uh, creators 
um, or influencers on our platform have found a lot of success with this strategy. Um, we think that it can really help um, in terms of the um, ability to uh, make your TikTok ad feel native and make it feel like part of the organic experience. Um, so it's, it's a huge focus for us to try to make creators and influencers available for advertisers that do want to connect with them. Um, we do have some tools like the creator marketplace is something it's a free tool to use where we invite brands to search for um, creators, um, you know, use different filters um, like location, um, you know, audience size, um, content covered to see if there's an, uh, a creator that um, they may want to engage with directly um, to uh, help them with their ad strategy on the platform. And also when, when, I don't know, for example, we're launching a hashtag challenge, uh, we can also encourage some creators within the platform to do the hashtag and, and set the tone of the hashtag of the initial mm -hmm. videos to be shown for the rest of the, of the TikTok audience as well. Do we have more time or just? I yeah. think we have one more minute. Yes. Of this maybe the final question. Says, how do you recommend to start working with creatives in TikTok? Yeah, good question. Um, what do you think, Leo? I'll, I'll let you. I'll, I'll let you answer first. Okay, so uh, it's it, it's like a summary of what we have discussed and uh, what we had talking today. But first of all, a deep dive into the platform, scroll down, see what's going on in the platform, try to see the hashtag, what's trending, what's viral, which songs, with music, um, if possible in the geo that you want to advertise on. Um, so you can, you can change uh, and you can like have the idea of what the users are looking at in, in, in that geo and then try to think how you can adapt your brand message or your company message or your yeah like what you want to advertise uh, align with that with those trends after that i will think the ads and the videos of you and the creatives that you want to produce as native as possible i mean i would not recommend to i don't know hire an actor for this i prefer to contact just search in your company or maybe a, a creator so to look your ad as native as possible and to because those are the ads that outperform. You don't need like a really high production or, or, or a Hollywood studio to make an ad. You need to be like expert on the platform and think as a, a, as a TikToker to have this TikToker mindset. Yeah, think, well right? said. Well said. Um, I, I think we're like a minute over now, so I, I don't want to um, take up too much more time, but completely agree. I feel like um, you guys really um, do a great job of embodying all the best practices from a creative perspective that we recommend and um, it shows. Awesome. Well, thank you very much everyone for joining us today. We stand one more minute. Um, Thank you for, for the, all the questions. Remember the webinar is gonna be, it has been recording and it's gonna be sent to, to watching on demand. Um, well, have a, all a great day and see you on the, next, on the next webinar. Thank you very much, Ryan, for joining us today. Thanks for having me and um, thanks for all of your work um, in the uh, Marketing Partner Program and um, great chatting as always. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Leo. Thank you, Ryan. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.